just enough time to check in with our dear friend, Stuart, from Stuart's American Mortgage. Good morning, Stuart. Good We're doing morning. good. Can we turn Stuart's microphone on? Stuart, good morning. How are you? Good morning, guys. There you go. <laughs> uh, before we talk about mortgages and more, congratulations on the Esquire Magazine article. Yeah, uh, Esquire Magazine put out a uh, article, actually I think it was the front cover, of all the best spots in each stadium across the country yes. where you can get food. And uh, surprising enough, well, not so surprising enough, our our hot dog stand at Bush Stadium was the pick for the for Bush Stadium. Right? Yeah, that's that kind of neat. Huge. And you know what? Yeah. Because of that, I had to go and have one or two of those last night, and I agree. <laughs> It was it was, it's a good it's a great hot dog. It was a great it was a great hot dog. Yeah. Great kosher dog. Did you you didn't have the pastrami dog, did you? No, I had to no, I just had a little crowd, a little mustard. You're not a, a nice pastrami soft bun. Yeah. I like pastrami. So you have pastrami dogs too? Yeah, we invented this thing where you put homemade pastrami on top of the hot dog with yeah. mustard, sauerkraut, and onions. It's awesome. I didn't have my I didn't have my stint with me last night, so I decided not to Well, it's not have the, have it's the not a New York your stint. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a New York thing to have pastrami on your hot dog. Yeah, it's a yeah, New right. Thing. Okay. A, All right. Uh, what are we doing with uh, rates? What's what's going on? Well, here? rates have hit a four-year high, and uh, inflation reports that have come out have indicated that the economy is actually moving even stronger than anticipated. And the low inflation we've seen in the past kind of kept interest rates down, and the Federal Reserve from not raising them as quick as they wanted to. Right. But now that that inflation numbers are catching up pretty quick, there's more indication of the Federal Reserve even considering to tighten their monetary policy even stronger, which in turn means, guess what, higher interest rates. And so that's going to be a big deal here in the future. So we're at a four-year high. So what does that do for consolidating all of the debts here? Well, the first vehicles to get hit with these interest rate increases are going to be your home equity lines of credit, mm-hmm. of which the interest is no longer tax deductible, right. credit cards, and so on and so forth. And mortgage rates are on the incline as well. So I think if you're in a position where you have some of that debt or you want to do some of those improvements and you're considering refinancing, then now is the time to do it because a month from now you can be a half percent over what the interest rate is now. Not only that, I don't think people took these loans out thinking the interest was tax deductible. And come January 1st, they're not. Well, that's right. And, And it's retroactive. So if you have a home equity line of credit or a second mortgage, anything that's not a first lien position mortgage is considered a second mortgage, whether you call it a HELOC, home equity line of credit, right. or a similar, the interest is no longer tax deductible. So you could have gotten something two years ago, said, hey, this is great. It's interest only. I don't have to pay any of the principal off, or right. you may not know that you're not paying any principal right. off. Yeah. And those fluctuating interest rates are starting to rise dramatically, and you know, no tax benefit. So this is the real importance right now is to consolidate that. It's not just for people who have gotten those home equity lines as of January 1st this year, it's retroactive. So right so now- if you had one at any point, you're, you're, you're paying taxes It's on just the like the credit card interest. It's irrelevant yeah. and it's not on a fixed rate. Uh, all right, so uh, we should say that you're different than everybody else because you don't charge any fees when you do this stuff. We have very low overhead. My office is in Overland and that Overland is a bad area. It's a good area, right. but it's, it's low overhead. And I don't pay commissions to loan officers. And by doing it this way, we created a model that allows a customer to get the same or better rates at no cost with the bagel loan. So if you're borrowing 150000 or greater, you're not going to pay title fees. You're not going to pay lender fees. I actually got an email from a customer that listens to, to your show yeah. and uh, yesterday, and we talked about refinancing, and we're going to do the bag along with him. And last night he emailed me at the game and said, uh, I understand that there's no closing costs involved in the transaction. How are you rolling in the points for the mortgage? And I said, no, no, no. There's no points. <laughs> There's no fees at all. And he's like emailing you, me back and saying, really? I said, really? So he's gonna, we're going to go right, ahead. And now, do it. we've played this game on the air for years. Everyone calling you saying, well, wait, wait, the fees and you're going to jack the rates. You don't jack the rates. No fees. Here's the $64,000 question, Stuart, from Stuart's American Mortgage. Are you telling me that you can refinance my house and get rid of all of this and put my financial house in order? And it will cost me more to buy a kosher hot dog than for you to refinance my house. Well, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but usually we treat our customers at the stands. <laughs> <laughs> so when all of my co- actually had a, a, clo- a closing where a customer insisted on closing their loan at the hot dog stand. So, so you knows? must pay for the hot dog, but, sh- but there are no fees and no closing costs for the loan. That's, That's right. a pretty good deal. That's the bottom line. Yeah. So there you go. So uh, buy a hot dog and get a loan for free. Well, you don't have to buy the hot dog. We'll still get right. you free. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. The phone number is three, uh, Stuart, 314-324-4440. That's your personal cell phone number. Stuart's AMC.com. No fees. Um, have a good day. Thanks. Thanks for having me.